Adelaide Cottage is a historic residence located within the home park of Windsor Castle in Windsor, England. It forms part of the Crown Estate and has a rich history, being closely associated with the British royal family. In 2022, William, Prince of Wales, and Catherine, Princess of Wales, uprooted their lives in London and moved to Windsor with their three children, Prince George, age 10, Princess Charlotte, age 8, and Prince Louis, age 5. The property's proximity to Windsor Castle and its relatively modest size compared to other royal dwellings offer a sense of privacy and normalcy for their young family. The cottage's initial name was Adelaide Lodge, but it was later changed to the more informal cottage to reflect its smaller size and intended use as a casual retreat. Although the Prince and Princess of Wales have not said goodbye to their London residence at Kensington Palace and occasionally stay in apartment 1A during business trips. The charming historic Adelaide Cottage has become their home. The main reasons for the royal family's move were the desire to lead a quiet and comfortable life and to be closer to Queen Elizabeth. Unfortunately, Her Majesty recently passed away, but other members of the royal family live nearby, with whom the Prince and Princess of Wales have good relations. Thus, King Charles and Queen Camilla preferred to spend time at Windsor Castle rather than at Buckingham Palace, which is considered the official residence of British monarchs. Prince Edward and his wife Sophie, Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, also live nearby in Bagshot Park. Let's talk about the house's history and its design features. Adelaide Cottage is a mansion located in Windsor Home Park, near St George's Chapel and approximately 25 miles from central London. It was built in 1831 by Sir Geoffrey Wyattville and was originally thought to be Queen Adelaide's tea house. It was described as extraordinarily elegant in the press of the time. She was the wife of King William IV and Queen of the United Kingdom and Hanover from 1830 to 1837. The building was created using materials from John Nash's Royal Lodge from Windsor Great Park. At the time of construction, there were two public rooms, the Queen's Rest Apartment and the Pages Room. The house features furniture from the former Royal Box and a marble fireplace in the Greco-Egyptian style of the Regency era. During the reign of Queen Victoria, it became an idyllic, upscale guest house. Important visitors to Windsor in the 1830s regularly described visiting one estate or another. Queen Victoria often visited the house and had breakfast or drank tea on the premises, so a particular road was made for her. Her beloved King Charles Spaniel, Dash, is also buried on the grounds. In 1941, Adelaide Cottage became known as the House of Grace and Favour, a term used to describe homes owned by the Queen but which she rents out to members of the royal family or staff. One of the first residents was Peter Townsend, who had mixed feelings about the house. He described it as a refrigerator in winter since the mansion only had two radiators. Electricity was supplied through cables running from Windsor Castle, but the current was so weak that only a vacuum cleaner and a small electric heater could be turned on at a time. The inside of the cottage was gloomy, decorated with Victorian wallpaper and heavy furniture. No wonder one commentator in the 1960s called it shabby and unattractive. Despite its historical significance, Adelaide Cottage underwent major renovations in 2015. While maintaining its architectural integrity, the renovations ensured the living space was comfortable and functional for its modern residents. Until 2018, Simon Rhodes, the son of Queen Elizabeth II's cousin Margaret Rhodes, lived in the cottage. According to Daily Mail information, the Queen offered Harry and Meghan Markle this listed property as a wedding gift. The couple even attended the viewing, but something went wrong, and now the Sussexes live in the USA. Despite its understated charm, the cottage in Adelaide was at the centre 
of a massive scandal in the 1940s and 1950s when it was home to Peter and Rosemary Townsend. Townsend, known as an Air Force ace and personal some equerry assistant to King George VI, accidentally met the King's daughters, Elizabeth and Margaret. The latter was still a teenager, but this did not stop her from falling in love with a former famous Royal Air Force pilot who was 15 years older than the girl. Margaret herself admitted that it was love at first sight. Since Townsend's duties included escorting the princess, they began an affair, which became known during the Queen's coronation in 1953. Rumour has it that the relationship started before the Townsends divorced in 1951. Tabloids worldwide wrote about this affair, and the creators of the popular Netflix series Crown did not forget it. Ultimately, the princess ended her relationship with Peter to maintain her place in the royal line of succession. What does Adelaide Cottage look like today? Adelaide Cottage has undoubtedly been modernized since the era of Queen Victoria and Peter Townsend. By the way, Peter himself was also keen to improve his living conditions as historians discovered that in the mid-1940s, a resident of an Adelaide cottage asked for heating for his young family. However, the Works Administration responded that such work could not be carried out as all efforts were aimed at eliminating the effects of the bombing in London. The building underwent several upgrades in 1955 after Townsend's departure and work continued for several decades. For example, there is information that a waterfall descended from the hill for many years until 1963 through the rock behind the house. Experts decided to remove it to reduce the humidity level. Further work was reported in the 1990s and the Grade 2 listed property underwent a significant refurbishment in 2015. The renovation preserved many of the home's original features, including the marble Greco-Egyptian fireplace, the main bedroom with a vaulted ceiling decorated with gilded dolphins and rope decoration, originally from a royal yacht from the 19th century. Adelaide Cottage is located in the heart of the 655-acre Windsor Estate, giving children plenty of space to run around and walk the family dog, Orla. The light pink facade and white details around the roof, gutters and windows, as well as the greenery surrounding it, give the beautiful building a fairy tale atmosphere. Besides the main building, a smaller building is immediately behind it. What the Prince and Princess of Wales used this building for is unknown, but it was previously thought to be staff quarters. In addition to four bedrooms, a kitchen, and an ample outdoor space, the cottage has an office where Prince William and Kate Middleton can work when they're not attending to their royal duties. A historical picture of the garden shows what a botanical paradise it once was. Previously, there was an outdoor fountain and round flower beds here. Of course, we still don't know how much it has changed since then, but judging by what we saw in the royal gardens, it is pretty beautiful. New life for Prince William and Kate Middleton. A palace source said William and Kate's move to cosy Adelaide Cottage allowed them to have as much normal family life as possible and their children a more rural upbringing away from London and the bustling Kensington Palace, a popular tourist attraction. They preferred a residence that did not require renovations or additional security measures. At the same time, Harry and Meghan Markle spent about $2.6 million renovating nearby Frogmore Cottage. The Prince and Princess of Wales felt four bedrooms would be enough for them as the house had no full-time staff. All assistants come to work if there is a need for their services. Among them is the couple's former nanny, Maria Borallo, who has lived with them since George was a child. However, they say that Kate has made her children more independent. In addition, the family pays market rent for the use of the property. Despite its historical significance, the cottage remains a private residence. Public tours are not available and the grounds are not accessible to the general public, 
allowing the royal family to enjoy their home in complete privacy. Adelaide Cottage's enduring appeal is a testament to the timeless allure of royal residences that blend historical significance with personal charm. It remains a fascinating example of the smaller, less visible, but equally cherished properties that contribute to the rich mosaic of Britain's royal heritage. After taking a look at Prince and Princess of Wales, Adelaide Cottages, what are your thoughts? Would you like to visit this cottage? If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and catch you in the upcoming video.